Over the centuries and throughout history, there were many different execution methods used to inflict a brutal demise onto a serious criminal. For example, in France, following an act of regicide in which someone attempted to attack and kill a monarch, some unfortunate assassins would be literally pulled apart by horses. They were attached with their limbs to the animals, and these would then be driven off in different directions, ripping their limbs from their torsos. Sometimes this even went wrong, and executioners had to even sever the tendons beforehand. Inside of Japan there were different execution methods used, for example Aikido, in which two executioners armed with swords would work simultaneously, striking their weapons down on the condemned's neck and also torso, leaving them in pieces. But there was one other harrowing execution method used inside of Asia, and this was known as Ling Chi, or death by a thousand cuts. And this was a torture method also, and was completely harrowing. Welcome to the fortress. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Ling Chi, as mentioned, translates to either slow slicing, or alludes to the death by a thousand cuts, and it was an execution and torture method used for many centuries inside of China. It was roughly used for a thousand years, and was deployed also inside Korea and Vietnam over the centuries. The method was aimed to prolong the suffering and agony of a prisoner and an individual, and it was used for the most serious of offences and crimes, and there were different ways of carrying out this execution. Usually the condemned was tied or strapped to a wooden frame in a public square, so that many people could come and witness what was happening. Then an executioner, or a couple of executioners, would take their knives or swords to the prisoner, and they would make cuts into the body in different places, and the aim of this was to ensure that the condemned's body was not whole in the afterlife. The executioners would continue to cut and cut, applying them to the legs, arms, torso and other areas, and the pain must have been harrowing. The condemned knew that their death was coming, as they would begin to bleed out. Usually after the executioners were satisfied that they would inflicted as much suffering as was needed, they would either behead the prisoner or stab them through the heart. If someone's offence was not as serious, then they could sometimes be cut in the throat, causing death to begin with, and then following this the executioners then dismembered the body. Ling Chi was used for a number of different offences such as murder, mass murder and high treason, all of which were said to have been very serious inside of society. But there were some executions of innocent people, and merciful executioners usually put their subjects out of their misery first, inflicting death. But it was also a torture method, and was used to extract information. Throughout the proceedings, it did not tend to last long, as the condemned would lose consciousness. In the Yang dynasty, 100 cuts were inflicted, but throughout the Ming dynasty, some documented evidence exists about executions using a staggering 3,000 cuts. Despite this, it usually took less than 20 minutes to take place, but some emperors ordered executioners to cut for three days. One man, Yong Chong Hang, was subjected to this and was heard screaming for half a day before he died. Shockingly, sometimes the flesh of the condemned was used in medicines and then sold on, but the punishment also could have included cremating the remains of the deceased and also slicing bones and scattering remains. One Australian traveller who claimed to have witnessed the execution method said that Ling Chi was commonly and quite wrongly translated as death by slicing into a thousand pieces, a truly awful description of a punishment whose cruelty has been extraordinarily misrepresented. The mutilation is ghastly and excites our horror as an example of barbarian cruelty, but it is not cruel and need not excite our horror, since the mutilation is done not before death, but after. According to other accounts which were more extreme, the executioner would use a sharp knife and also cut out the eyes and take off the nose, ears, tongue, finger, toes, genitals and other body parts in front of a huge crowd. The body parts were then sometimes even placed on a parade for the public to witness and some victims were allegedly drugged up to make their ordeal slightly more bearable if this was ever the case. Death by 1000 cuts was a harrowing and brutal execution method which was in sense comparable in Britain with hanging, drawing and quartering, but it remained in Chinese law until 1905 when it was then abolished. There were many accounts throughout the centuries of Ling Chi being used, as it was completely harrowing and brutal. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.